Welcome to a deep dive into the professional life of Nick Vischer. Oh, this should be fun. You know, sometimes a person's LinkedIn profile can tell you so much more than just what's on their resume. For sure. Today we're going to explore Nick's profile to see what we can discover about his career, his love for data visualization, and maybe even a few surprises along the way. Always love a good surprise. So if you're interested in evaluation, audience research, or even just curious about how professionals craft their online presence, this one's for you. Yeah, a LinkedIn profile is much more than just a digital resume these days. It can really give us insight into a person's passions and how they approach their work. Absolutely. And Nick's profile definitely caught my attention. The first thing I noticed was his tagline. Oh yeah, his tagline is great. Make your data shine with everyday software like PowerPoint. Makes you stop and think. It made me stop and think how many people actually think about using PowerPoint for data visualization. Right. Not me, that's for, for sure. sure. It's an interesting approach for sure. It suggests that anyone, regardless of their technical skills or budget, can create engaging and effective data visualizations. He's not advocating for expensive software, just using the tools many of us already have yeah. in a new and innovative way. And he's not just talking the talk. Oh, no. He's walking the walk. He's a certified presentation specialist, and he has a YouTube channel with over 50,000 subscribers where he teaches these very skills. That's incredible. That's what struck me as well. It demonstrates a real dedication to making complex information accessible to a wider audience. Definitely. You know, empowering others to understand and work with data. Right. It makes you think, what could nonprofits and smaller organizations do if they were able to easily visualize their data? They could probably reach more people oh, yeah. and even attract more donors. Precisely. And that really speaks to the potential impact of Nick's approach to data visualization. It's not just about making pretty charts. It's about making information understandable and actionable. Mm -hmm. Okay. But here's the thing. Before he was this data visualization guru, Nick had a completely different career path. Really? He was an animal trainer at the New York Aquarium working with pinnipeds. Wow, that's not the typical background for this kind of work. You wouldn't think so, would you? No. But maybe working with sea lions actually taught him a thing or two about handling tricky data sets. Huh. I mean, training animals requires patience, observation, and a deep understanding of behavior. That's a great point. You have to break down complex tasks into smaller steps and find ways to communicate effectively. For sure. Maybe those skills actually translate surprisingly well to data analysis. It's certainly an intriguing possibility, and it highlights how our seemingly diverse experiences can shape our professional journey in ways we might not even realize. So after his time working with sea lions, Nick transitioned to the world of museums and zoos, focusing specifically on data and evaluation. He's currently an evaluation specialist at the Woodland Park Zoo. I see. So he clearly has a passion for understanding the impact of programs and initiatives especially in the context of zoos and aquariums. Remember, before Woodland Park Zoo, he was the audience research and evaluation manager at the Denver Zoo. And there he was responsible for a whole range of evaluations, right? Yeah. Everything from guest experiences to employee engagement, the impact of specific programs, and even DEAI-related surveys. You're right. For those who might not know, DEAI stands for Diversity, Equity, Inclusion, and Accessibility. So these surveys would focus on ensuring programs are reaching and benefiting everyone. It's an incredibly important aspect of evaluation. It sounds like he had a pretty diverse portfolio. That tells me he's comfortable working with different types of data and adapting his approach to the specific needs of each project. Absolutely. And that adaptability probably stems, at least in part, from his varied experiences. But let's not forget his academic background. He earned his master's degree in zoo and aquarium management from Michigan State University. And even his thesis topic hints at his interest in communication and learning. Comparative analysis of knowledge gain at an interpretive versus fact-only animal training demonstration. It seems like even early on he was fascinated by finding the most effective ways to convey information. That's a really interesting observation. It suggests a consistent thread throughout his career, doesn't it? This desire to understand how people learn and how to present information in a way that resonates. And it's not just academic theory for him. I mean, he's actually published articles on a variety of topics, from measuring visitor response in museums to something called assessing visitor comfort and attitudes toward carcass feeding at zoos. 
carcass feeding. Yeah, it sounds a little intense, but it's actually a really interesting topic. It's about how zoos educate visitors about the natural world, even the parts that might make some people squeamish. I see. Exactly. And the fact that Nick has published on such a wide range of topics shows he's not afraid to tackle complex. Oh, yeah. And sometimes controversial issues. He really seems to be a thought leader in his field. He certainly is. And his publications go beyond just presenting data. They demonstrate a commitment to using data to actually inform decisions and improve practices. Mm -hmm. He's a true advocate for data-driven decision-making. And that advocacy really shines through in his own company's Spotlight Impact Data Design. He helps clients, especially nonprofits, create visually engaging reports and presentations. Wow. It's like he took everything he's passionate about, data visualization, clear communication, accessibility, and created a way to help others achieve those same goals. It's amazing, isn't it? Think about it. He's bridging the gap between data analysis and visual communication, making complex information accessible, and even, dare I say, exciting for a wider audience. It's like he's taking this dense, sometimes intimidating world of data and making it understandable for everyone. And it's so inspiring that he focuses on nonprofits organizations that might not have the resources for fancy software consultants. Yeah, that's a really important point. Nick is democratizing data visualization, showing people that you don't need expensive tools to tell compelling stories with data. And he's not keeping his knowledge a secret. He's sharing it on his YouTube channel with tips and tutorials on using everyday software for data visualization. I love that. It's so refreshing to see someone so willing to share their expertise and help others develop these valuable skills. He's really challenging the perception of data visualization as something exclusive or difficult. It's not just about the tools, it's about changing how we think about data. Nick's approach encourages everyone to see the potential for data storytelling, whether it's for a presentation, a report, or even understanding your personal finances. Absolutely, it's about developing data literacy as a core competency. And Nick's work shows how that kind of literacy can drive positive change in the world. Absolutely. And speaking of learning and growth on his LinkedIn profile, Nick mentions that he's been building a library of books on data visualization and visual thinking. Oh, very cool. Right. It's a good reminder that learning never stops. Even someone as accomplished as Nick is still expanding his knowledge and exploring new ideas. It's inspiring, right? He doesn't just talk about lifelong learning. He embodies it. It really makes you think about the areas where you could be pushing yourself to learn and grow. So from what we've seen so far, Nick's LinkedIn profile paints a picture of someone with diverse interests, a commitment to lifelong learning, and a real passion for making data accessible and engaging. Definitely. And it reminds us that our own unique backgrounds and experiences can be valuable assets, even if they don't seem directly related to our current career paths. Absolutely. Just like Nick's journey from animal trainer to data visualization expert. It's fascinating how he's combined seemingly disparate passions into a successful and impactful career. He's taken the best of both worlds and created something truly special. It really makes you wonder, how can each of us leverage our own unique experiences to make a meaningful impact? I think that's a great question for our listeners to consider, but there's one more thing I wanted to explore on Nick's profile, his recommendations. You know, recommendations can tell you so much about a person. Oh, for sure. It's one thing to describe your own skills and accomplishments, but it's another to have colleagues and supervisors validate those qualities. Yeah, they offer a glimpse into a person's professional reputation and how they're perceived by others. Exactly. And Nick's recommendations really stood out to me. One person described him as an exemplary manager who's approachable and always available to solve issues. Wow. Another recommendation highlighted his impressive diplomatic skills and his ability to clarify communications and find solutions. It's interesting, isn't it? These recommendations go beyond just praising his technical abilities. They speak to his character, his leadership qualities, and his ability to build strong working relationships. It seems like he's not just a data whiz but also a genuinely good person to work with. Right. It's a good reminder that technical skills are important, but so are those interpersonal skills. Those soft skills can really make a difference in your long-term success and how much you enjoy your work. So as we wrap up our deep dive into Nick Vischer's LinkedIn profile, I think it's safe to say that we've learned a lot. We've seen how someone can combine their unique experiences their passion for knowledge, and their commitment to accessibility to build a fulfilling and impactful career. It's pretty inspiring. It's really inspiring, right? I mean, who would have thought that an animal trainer would become a data visualization expert? I know, right? But it makes sense when you see how his diverse background has shaped his approach. Yeah, it's a reminder that we all have something unique to offer. 
And sometimes it's those unexpected experiences that can lead us down the most interesting paths. And Nick's story reminds us that data can be a powerful tool for good and that we all have a role to play in making data more understandable and accessible. So the next time you're scrolling through LinkedIn, take a moment to really look at the profiles you come across. Don't just skim the surface, dig a little deeper. Look for the passion, the purpose, the potential that lies within each profile. You might be surprised by what you discover. And who knows, you might even find inspiration to create your own data masterpiece using nothing but PowerPoint. I think I might just give that a try. Me too.